Ontario's PC party says the Liberal government does not understand lucrative mining opportunities in Northern Ontario's quote-unquote ring of fire. Ontario Tory leader Tim Hudak says environmentalists are stalling development of a vast mineral deposit. Hudak also says Liberals are wasting a huge opportunity. I, I just do not believe that um, the Liberal government uh, understands the value of the ring of fire. I mean, it's, it, Ontario has taken bold steps in the past, the Sudbury Basin, the development of uh, Hemlo with Timmins and, and Kirkland Lake. This is the next frontier. It is a, this, is, this could be, let me reset on this a little bit. What, what, what the oil sands are to Alberta, what potash is to Saskatchewan, the ring of fire could be for the province of Ontario. A tremendous boost for jobs across our province as a whole. It's too bad that the Liberals seem to be captured by radical environmental groups and are not proceeding with the initiatives here to create jobs. All right, they're talking about that at the PDAC conference today and all week in Toronto. Meantime, though, Ontario's mining minister disagrees, saying the ring of fire is a government priority. All right, if you think Ontario's mining rules are getting tougher, Manitobans say you're telling us they've been feeling the fallout for quite some time now. Let's bring in Nicole Dubé from Winnipeg, who has more on this side of the story. Nicole. Yeah, Anita, you know what? It wasn't that long ago, just a few years ago, that Manitoba was the number one or the best place in the world for mining and exploration. Uh, our regulations and the can-do attitude that were in this province really attracted mining companies uh, from really around the globe and created jobs and wealth for our province. Well. That apparently seems to be history now because under the restrictive reign of the NDP government uh, and, and Greg Selinger, essentially, that has been on a steady decline. In fact, uh, a Fraser Institute report recently ranked Manitoba 21st. We're not even in the top 10 anymore uh, in terms of doing mining and mining business uh, related work in, in Canada. We're 21st in the world now. We're behind Botswana, believe it or not, uh, which is a far cry from where we used to be. And according to Manitoba's progressive conservatives, uh, this has a lot to do with attitude. It has a lot to do mm -hmm. with poor government policies. Uh, and it has a lot to do with business taxes that just aren't attractive for those mining companies when they're looking, okay, where where on the planet do we want to invest? Manitoba used to be a, a place they wanted to be. That's no longer the case. And I spoke with uh, uh, Tory MLA Ron Schuler this morning. Uh, we'll have a clip for you next hour. Okay. But he basically said, there's just this attitude in our province now that's not encouraging uh, those mining companies to be here. Uh, and, and and it's lucrative for any province, uh, for any country to really want to have that kind of investment. For example, in Manitoba, uh, mining and exploration currently employs uh, 5,500 people in our province, wow. uh, mostly in the north where jobs are desperately needed. We know in many northern uh, areas and in many provinces and territories, jobs are needed and mining is, is one of those industries that do attract good quality jobs. Well. We actually, just a year ago, employed 6,400 people. So we've lost, in just 10 months, 900 good quality jobs. And there's something to be said, again, about the, the policies and the taxation uh, that aren't attractive to those mining companies to continually be investing here. Uh, so this is something that we're going to be uh, further exploring uh, today uh, as we discuss this issue, Anita. All right. Uh, certainly big, uh, big topic and a lot to discuss there. Thanks for this, Nicole. You're welcome.